Good morning. We're off on our merry way again, wending our way down to Hillmorton Locks, which are supposed to be the busiest locks on the network, and then on to Calcutt. We've just encountered a hire boat stuck in the bushes. They were doing the uh, terrified on tick over thing, so we had to help them to gently squeeze past but they're fine now we've all been there <sighs> it's still really grey not particularly cold but a bit of sun would be nice but it doesn't matter it's nice out here anyway we're coming up towards Hillmorton Locks now and chugging in front of us is a Viking that we met the other day and he's got two boats um, the front one is a workshop and the second one is his living quarters and he's cleverly made them to slot into each other so that the total length of the boats is 70 foot so he can get them through the locks together and he's had all the metal work around the sides laser cut instead of having windows put in really interesting boat thank you There he is, Richard the Viking. busy here and the double locks explains why the boats were always coming up in pairs yeah today we're at um, Braunston Junction and it's one of those places you hear about a lot um, busy junction and in a really lovely setting so you can see behind me We've got this lovely field with sheep and that pretty church up there and two peregrine falcons have been seen feeding up there. So we're just about to go and have a walk up there and around into Bornston and then down to have a look at the junction. And we're feeling super pleased today because we've been having continuing niggling problems with our solar setup and we joined a brilliant Facebook group today called um, Victron Camper Group something like that and asked the question and within half an hour we got the answer to the problem we've had for weeks so that's brilliant <laughs>
Braunston. It's a fantastic butchers and general store with the fruit and veg not in plastic. Result. Ooh. It's like a sweet shop. Well, this boat is interesting. He keeps three beautiful ferrets in two cages on the top of the boat and the cages are connected with long tunnels that run under the woods so they can run from one to the other and they seem to be really friendly. He gets them out and the local kids stroke them. They're really gorgeous. myself a big bowl of elderberries and I'm just forking the berries off the stalks. They're a funny old thing elderberries. They're you're not really supposed to eat them raw. I mean I think they taste a bit soapy raw anyway but they are very slightly toxic if you eat a lot of them. So they're always best cooked and what I'm going to make with this batch is a very quick elderberry vinegar which is a bit like balsamic and it's super easy to make um, so you need a little bottle of vinegar um, about 350 millilitres which is what one of these small ones is and then one of these nice jars sterilized about 200 grams of elderberries and you just bong them in rolling pin or whatever you've got to hand. I haven't got one so I'm just going to use the end of this glass and just break up the berries a little bit. Just a bit of a bash and they start releasing their juice. And then pour the ginger on whole bottle, if it's all going to fit in here, and then just put that somewhere cool for, well if it's in the fridge three or four days, um, I'll probably, I haven't got a fridge so I'm just going to put it somewhere cool for about two days, and then I'll show you the next bit. Okay, I've had that macerating for about four days. And to finish it off, all you do is pour it all into a pan. And then you add about 100 grams of sugar. And I've got a mixture of agar and demerara. And then bring it to the boil and simmer for about 15 minutes or so, so all the sugar is dissolved. And then when you've done that, you just pour it through a sieve into your original vinegar bottle and it's done.
So the boat engines ideally are serviced every 250 hours and somehow, I don't know how we've done it, but we've now done 246 hours. By the time we get to Calcutt, it will be almost exactly 250. Oh, that's so sad. It looks like someone's working on it. Looks like it's an hour cable. How can anyone be working on it? <laughs> There's nothing left. It could be a good duck house. There's lots of duckweed in there. I think it's a bit tired, isn't it? <laughs> the most popular name on the canal. Well, we're back in the boatyard and we're all ready to nip off for the weekend, leave them to do the boat service. It was slightly awkward yesterday because when we turned up, it seemed they had no record of our service booked in at all. Luckily, we had a record of the phone conversation in the history on our phone so we were able to show them that we had booked it in and it was all slightly difficult for a while but anyway they found somebody to do it over the weekend so it, I mean, it's not like a car in a garage you can't go away and come back again because it took us nearly two weeks to get here so anyway I'm sure it'll all be fine we're just nipping off and that's the end for this week so see you on the next video Bye for now.